Don't worry about it, it's going to be an absolute blinder outside. Wednesday, February 17th, and thank goodness we're not, you know, like a below number like some people over the other side of the world right now. Now, let me do this, and uh, then you'll understand. Sixty-four countries, ninety-seven cities are logged in this morning, and so glad to have everybody along, including Fife in Scotland at uh, New City, to join us. Thank you for uh, taking part. Now, for everybody else that's watching us on Facebook Live, thank you so so much for uh, joining us right here at Galaxy. It's nice to have you back again. It really, really is. For those of you that are going to be watching us a little later on over in YouTube, you know what to do, right? Yeah, you know, sub, thumb, bell, finger, you got it. You know, bell for the notification. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Today's feature artist has been New Kings on The Breakfast Show, and it's an absolute pleasure to catch up with Aaron. Yeah, coming out of Bartersville. Yes, going to talk to him very, very shortly. But first of all, here is New Kings Chase the Stream. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Aaron, I didn't mean to say that. No, you're fine. You're good. It really is. Damn, 25 degrees. Barbara, you're winning right now. That's not fair. Yeah. I'm going to win Hi, later. Hi, John. Hi, Gia. Here's uh, Aaron. Meet Aaron. Nice. Uh, is that John Pater? Yeah. And... Why I can't see myself live on you? You can't see yourself live? Oh, can't monitor yourself, that's unreal. A woman that can't monitor herself live on... <laughs> <laughs> what will the world come to now? My gosh, <laughs> we're in for trouble now. <laughs> Nothing like a lady with... You remember uh, Darth Vader, don't you, Aaron? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You remember that wandy thing, you know, the lightsaber thing? Yeah, it's lightsaber, yeah. Yeah, well, believe me, bro, that, that <laughs> thing is damn dangerous. Weapon, huh? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hard hat area, let's put it that way. <laughs> our, our local health and safety, you know, would love to be watching some of these. They'll be going, oh, you poor buggy, you might need a payout. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's funny. Dear, dear, dear. Anyway, let's go live to the desk, my friend, and thank you for coming back. Yeah, no, thanks for having me, man. This is going to be fun. All oh, our pleasure, my yeah, friend. It really is. Fun, all right. <laughs> I love this band, I really, really do. We've had a relationship for, well, well, about a minute, I've got to be honest with you. We've known each other for a little while now, and uh, I still yet to figure out why they would put themselves through this sort of torture to come on back and talk to me, but you know what? Really glad they have. Uh, talking today, of course, to Aaron Bourne, coming out of the band New Kings. Uh, let's run down the names of the bands Jeff Wan, uh, Josh, Pugsley Adams, you figure that one out, and uh, Caleb. Jack Adams as well. A lot of Adams is in there. Really is. Might be, uh, uh, yeah, interesting. Aaron, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be with y'all. It is an absolute honour for me to have you, my friend. It really, really is. Um, so nice to have 
a relationship with you, and we absolutely love, love, love your music here in Galaxy. We really do. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. You've amassed a huge following here at Galaxy. Uh, I've got to let you know that we play you on another. Well, that's, that's great to hear. And just lately, it seems like I'm not getting through a breakfast show without actually playing uh, songs like No River and, of course, Chase the Dream or Chase yeah. This Dream. So uh, yeah. we opened up with Chase This Dream. Tell, yeah. tell me a little bit about it. Where did the lyrics come from? Well, uh, actually, I was approached by uh, a hunting program. These guys that are local here who are, are uh, acquaintances of mine approached me and said, Aaron, we love your music. We love what you're doing. We need kind of a theme song for this hunting program that we're doing. And we'd love for you to sit down and put pen to paper and a melody, add a melody to it and see what you can come up with. And uh, from that, Chase This Dream came. And it's basically just a... Uh, I, I guess I took I took the the idea of hunting in the outdoors and kind of just intertwined it with what it's like as a musician to just take your shots uh, and and get out there and just keep grinding to try and achieve the the dream that uh, you know you're chasing. So that's really cool. In, in fact, I got to be honest with you, I can actually relate to that. I really, really can. I've been watching it. Well, not a lot of interesting stuff on television these days. In fact. I haven't seen television in a number of years, and that's the truth. I watch the interwebby thing and choose what I want to watch, and uh, some programs, much like uh, Below, Life Below Zero, for instance, I, I uh -huh. think is rather interesting, you know what I mean? Very interesting, yeah, that's a good show. Uh, even the uh, duck hunting guys, you know, the ones that make the duck oh, hunt. I love Duck Dynasty. Man. Yeah, that's, Those that, guys are that's great. the one. Uh, so, uh, uh, I get a basic idea, well, you know something, we even know some people that do these shows, uh, some being uh, in the profession of making, uh, uh, in the bush, that hand sanitizer stuff. Oh. Uh, <laughs> come, yeah, come, comes yeah. in a glass jar, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can send people into space with it these days. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we actually know some people off the uh, Moonshiners show, I've got to be honest with you. Wow. And, uh, That's pretty cool. Ha have interviewed a couple of them, including Josh. Uh, yeah, uh, but that was prior to his little dog passing away. Haven't seen him since, really, but he has been on the show. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're, uh, but we do have friends of friends of friends. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, absolutely. It happens. I heard a, I heard a saying here a while back at, uh, that we're all about eight handshakes away from each other. If you break it down, there's some studies done, and you know if I shake your hand and you shake the guy's hand, and we're we're all just eight hands handshakes away from knowing one another personally. So, believe me, I've got a retort for that. I really, really do, but I'm not going to say it on the air. <laughs> oh, I could get so into trouble for that. But I tell you what. <laughs> I was, yeah, I got a friend of mine, uh, she's vision impaired, right? And she says to me yesterday, Grant, you know one of the scariest things a blind person can read? In Braille. And I went, what? She goes, don't touch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it would be. <laughs> that's a, oh man, that's good. That's well, good. you know, I never thought of it. Well, you know, I'm not vision impaired, and of course, you know, yeah. she can make fun of you know whatever, whenever. I just thought it was a classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. That's that's good. Yeah. Absolutely love it. I really, really do. Now, I tell you what, Aaron. Uh, absolutely love, love, loving this. Now, uh, I got to ask you though, Chase the Stream was that recorded in the historic sound kitchen? Uh, studios that uh no that was a, a local studio here that we use for the majority of our our projects and our our songs that we've put out a uh, uh, really talented uh regional producer here uh, by the name of aaron wheeler and uh he's he's worked on all of our stuff pretty much except for the the single that we did out in nashville um an excellent excellent musician and got a great ear for for uh uh, production and so we we go to him here locally and uh he he hasn't let us down so far and he's 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 made us sound really good in my opinion so well i gotta agree with you believe me i've been a uh, recording engineer for a, a good 30 plus years and really i can't fault you we keep him 
in your back pocket, literally, do that. Absolutely. He's a, he's a good friend of mine now, so... But having mentioned that, you have been to the Historic Sound Kitchen Studios with Nova River, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it, it was an amazing experience and an awesome opportunity to get to go there and to see all the uh, historic musicians, I mean, from across every genre have recorded there and just to be there it was it was a huge blessing uh it was a definitely a uh, moment in time that we won't forget and uh from that came uh what i believe is really a marquee song of ours um we were grateful to record it and and do it there and uh it, i think the response we got, it, it kind of took us to a different level as far as the uh, response. i got to agree with you, Aaron. I really, really do. We've had multitudes of requests. I can't get through a breakfast show uh, for the last number of weeks. It's just absolutely making this huge, huge reinsurgence again and again and again and again. And people just keep requesting it. Uh, tell me, how did you come to the lyrics? Um, actually... <laughs> That uh, No River came to uh, it, it came fairly quickly. I think about forty minutes. I I, uh, I was uh, contacted by um, a member of the group Consumed by Fire, uh, and they they wanted us to come out and do a recording with them. And uh, they said, "Do you have a song in mind?" And at that time, I had several songs written down, but I really didn't know what to do. So I just went in the went in the which what I wanted to use, and I went in. The, to a room all by myself, sat down with the guitar and uh, started just jamming out and came up with this little bluesy riff, you know, a B to E kind of shuffle. And uh, from that came No River. I put pen to paper and uh, here we are. So, well, I tell you what, Aaron, right now we are getting huge, huge, huge requests for it. We are literally playing it many, many times here at Galaxy, right here as New Kings No River. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, believe me, bro, you're getting a big following, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's good, that's good. I'm really glad to hear that, man. We, uh, it, it seems like, you know, you hit these um, hills and valleys, you know? The, the music industry is, is hills and valleys, and, and uh, I've been doing this for 10 years now, and so this being my 10th year is, uh, is something special, but it's, I just see it for what it is, and I, I take every every hill uh, as it comes and then every valley is just a real big blessing you know just to coast down that hill and enjoy people and their appreciation for what we've created so it's uh, it's pretty awesome believe me bro i hear what you're saying but i tell you what i'm kind of missing the stage yeah oh no we, know? we miss we miss the live performances yeah it's uh it's it's tough on everybody i think uh you know we got we got several shows coming up over the next few months, uh, bigger shows, and we're excited about those. And uh, it's it's going to be really good to be able to see people smiling in person uh, and have that impact oh, hell on yeah, people bro. in person. So uh, I don't know about you, but you see, uh, when I'm on stage, I feed off the crowd, but the crowd feeds off. You know, it's a, oh, a yeah, circular yeah, thing. Absolutely. It goes to and fro. Uh, as an engineer, my moment is literally when that drum kit hits that first beat the crowd goes off the smoke the lights the whole thing you know what i mean that's my yeah. moment right there because then i go right now we're here to work <laughs> you know what i mean right. as a front of house engineer um but at the same time this virtual crowd doesn't do it for me unfortunately you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> yeah uh, the virtual crowd is a uh... You know they they have their place and uh, i'm very thankful for all the support of, of everyone out there in the virtual community and, and oh yes but i don't see media, myself but getting, getting... the live crowd is is i mean that's where you get the that's where all the the energy really exactly. i think stems you know i'm so. so, i'm sorry Aaron, but i'm not going to get dressed up and looking forward to go to the damn lounge Good morning, Jason. Good morning, I'm with you, man. I think uh, the river meets the road on stage. It does. I mean, you, you, you can meet so many different people in so many different walks of life 
it amongst the damn good concert. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Can't do Hopefully that in the lounge. We get down there and uh, rock out with y'all soon. So. Well, we want that. We really, really do. And believe me, we are hanging out for it. We really are. <laughs> I tell you who hit us up uh, this morning wanting to come to New Zealand to do concerts is the Hammond Brothers. Oh, really? Yeah. Might wow. Be, yeah, be able to yeah, put, put something together. <laughs> you never know. Anyway. Let's go back to the desk. Encompassing the sounds of rock, country, gospel, blues and soul, the New King's unique sound is driven by gritty vocals and American roots music. I can't disagree with that. I really, really can't. <laughs> that is fantastic. It really, really is. And making a huge, huge impact here at Galaxy. Believe me, people are requesting it like crazy. <laughs> and I've got to let you know, Aaron, uh, that our receptionist, Sarah, <laughs> she started writing it down, right? All the requests. Uh, after the next week, she got sick of that, and, well, now I'm getting it on a USB. She goes, Grant, you sort it out. <laughs> man, that's great to hear, man. That's really encouraging. We're, <laughs> we're thankful for all, all those people who uh, are enjoying it. So. Believe me, it's really happening. And it's nice to be able to monitor you. So, nice delay on that, too, isn't there? Yeah, be able to see what I've done. What have done? <laughs> it really is. Uh, now, I'm just wondering, did you run out of names to name the next song? <laughs> no, uh, the, the, this song actually stemmed from uh, us wanting to put out an anthem, something that uh, people uh, resonated with, uh, people of faith who, who know what Christ did for us and uh, just to help push them forward. Um, and, and basically uh, describe who we are as the band, but also who Christ makes us, which, you know, uh, the Bible tells us that uh, we're made new kings. We're a priesthood in Christ. So uh, we're a royal priesthood in Christ. And uh, he's the king of kings. And so we just wanted to kind of amplify that and inspire and encourage people in that to, to root themselves in Christ and, and keep pushing no matter what we see in this chaotic world. And so we just titled that song New Kings. And uh, here we are. So, <laughs> Well, having said that, all I can say is amen, brother, literally. Uh, but uh, uh, do you realize that Moses was the uh, first internet user of the world? Really? Yeah, we, I didn't, uh, yeah, he had to get on top of a mountain to get a good reception, <laughs> right? <laughs> then he, he was downloading from the cloud onto his tablet. <laughs> On his tablet, yeah. They... <laughs> there you go. That's good stuff, man. <laughs> You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined live by Aaron. From the band New Kings, here it is, New Kings, a brand spanking new song, world release for right. Galaxy. Ah, oh, dear, 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 I could have told you another joke, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no worries here, man. I'm always, I'm always up for a laugh. Man. No, it's well, okay. So, you, you, you know, the Last Supper, right, with Jesus and his. Yeah. Yeah, with his boys, he's right at the end of the night. He's going, "Come on, guys, hurry up, drink up. Let's have some more fun before Judas takes me to see Nine Inch Nails." <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh man! Oh. You're bad. Oh, I'm totally bad. I'm so bad. No, that's not. No, it really, it's not. It's you know, God has a sense of humor, and I think you know, though that's a serious, a serious situation. Uh, I, I, you know, there's truth in that joke, and so. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, uh, have you ever tried vegan sausages? No, no. No, I was, m me neither. I've, I've been wondering if they're made of real vegans. <laughs> well, they are. All the vegetables. I don't know. I'm going to let you try that and uh, take your word for it. I promise you that. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I noticed they took Girl Guide biscuits off the market as well, didn't they? Yes. <laughs> hey, they've taken a lot of things away. They have taken My a lot Avon of things away. My Avon makeup. Oh no, not your yeah, Avon makeup. Yeah, they went offshore. They oh gosh, you can me. still get it by internet, can't you? Uh, if I wanted to. If you wanted to, right. So it's not completely out of reach. Well, yeah, it's too expensive. Back <laughs> oh, to too Aaron. expensive now. Back to Aaron. Back to Aaron. You know, women, got to talk about makeup sometimes. Yeah, no, yeah. that's all right. You know, <laughs> I have I have uh, squirrel moments all the time where I'm just sitting talking and I look off and not know what's going on anymore. So. It's locked my down my co-host puts up with me so much. It's not funny. Yeah, <laughs> she really, really does. Well, God bless her. Yep. Uh, I believe me. I you. I believe everybody needs a Barbara. Uh, Literally, I, she, yep. she. My wife is uh, is she's a rock man. That's for sure. So. Well, you know something, my bro? Amen to that as well, all right? Let's go back to the desk. is I actually got kicked out of uh, a Catholic school. I really, really did. They uh, deemed me incorrigible back in the day. So uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Hello, it's growing up. Uh, well, yeah, this, this is my uh, middle child. <laughs> oh, you have, a, wait, you have a bigger one again? Yeah, yeah I got two more. Yeah, two? We have four children. Oh, so. okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know whether to feel happy or sad for you. <laughs> well, be happy, man. You know, uh, like like the good word says, God tells us that they're like an arrow, right? I get it. Believe me, and you'll find out later on in life, like I did. You know, they only <laughs> they only come home once they leave home to raise your fridge and your wallet. <laughs> I just feel like that's all they do already. So. <laughs> yeah, believe me. I used, I used to wonder many, many times, why do I pay for these little people? What do they do? <laughs> yeah, my wife used to say to me, you know, but you like them, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, as long as... Uh, and it's a rather surreal time right now, especially with this COVID virus thing going on. Um, how's it going where you are right now? Are you guys okay? We're, you know, we're good. We're, uh, our community is, is doing well, I think. Um, you know, there's, uh, this thing is just kind of, it's a, it's a really odd situation, I think, and for everybody, um, because, you know, as far as the numbers go, the, 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 the numbers indicate you know, low death totals. However, every death is significant and tragic. And so we want to honor those people and we want to help those who 
uh, you know, are high risk in this situation and, and try to do our part. And I think through that, throughout this process, whether you're on one side or the other and, and disagreeing on what's going on or whatever, um, I think we've actually grown to understand it better as a society. And I think uh, the only way that we can continue to fight it is to love one another and be there for one another. So uh, we're good here, though. We're good here in Oklahoma. Absolutely. I fully agree with you. Uh, I want to throw something else in the mix is we need to be educated more about it. Uh, believe me. And that helps us not only live with it. It's not going to go away, right? We Well, you know, what scares me? Besides, sure. besides the violent banging going on in the background, maybe Monday. <laughs> sorry, sorry, the kids running around here. So. <laughs> <laughs> but what scares me is that it mutates. That denotes intelligence. Everything we're coming up with, it's changing the game. Yeah, now, absolutely. That's scary in its own right. It started with the older people, then the younger people, now the people in the middle. Uh, that means across the board, we're all vulnerable, some here, uh, somewhere, somehow, and we really, really need to not only love and respect each other, but take care of each other, yes, uh, including respect each other's rights. Absolutely. I, absolutely. I'm a, <laughs> I, rights are, are big to me. You know, I, I served my country here in the United States, and, uh, you know, I'm a big advocate for our freedoms, our individual liberties. And uh, so... Any infringement on those, I have a big problem with. Um, but uh, I do think there's ways that we can um, be free and still serve one another. So uh, I, you know, I think the the less government is that's involved is normally a better situation. So the less government, the better things are, in my opinion. So. Okay, well, you, you know, my friend, I'm not actually going to go there. I, I don't want to touch political stuff right now. Sure, uh, sure, I'm with you. Bit, bit of a hot potato, that one, you know. But, uh, <laughs> mm, uh, but having said Just got to be honest. Just got to be honest. You do. And, and, well, you know, transparency across the board as well. You sure. know what I mean? But, Absolutely. But at the end of the day, and I feel this, all lives matter. Absolutely. Um, no matter what race, creed. <laughs> Or where the hell you come from, yeah, you matter, and the world, the world is a better place with you in it. So we need everybody to look after everybody else. We need to be able to form this brotherhood to be able to get through this Absolutely. pandemic. We're all right created. Now. We're all created in the image of God. We're all in this together, and we need to just be mindful of that. So absolutely, my friend, you couldn't have said a wiser thing, really. Uh, but we are unfortunately going to have to move on right now. Um, just wondering, will you come back again, Aaron? Will you uh, uh, release more music with us? Will you come back for another interview in the future? Absolutely, absolutely. We're looking forward to the next few months uh, playing some shows in Texas and uh, back here in Oklahoma and uh, releasing several more tracks, hopefully, God willing. So uh, we appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me on. And uh, hopefully the next, the next time we'll get to have the guys. Absolutely, cool band, so. absolutely. But in the meantime, if you catch up with Louis, you're not poking the eye for me, won't you? <laughs> you gotta be. <laughs> okay, uh, hang right in there. But in the meantime, uh, we'll go over to the other studio. Here's Frankie Valley. And, well, way back in 1966, working my way back to you. <laughs> 